I'd like to ask you for a moment to think of the three happiest people you know. Three people. You got it? Now try to think what they have in common. Six years ago, um, Academy Award nominated filmmaker Rocco Bellic and I, as a producer, began a journey to document what makes people genuinely and sustainably happy. We interviewed the brightest mind in neuroscience, psychology, philosophy, and spirituality. And based on that knowledge, we traveled around the world and hung out with, for example, single mother in Denmark, business people uh, in Japan like you, um, dying hospice patient in America, Bushman in the Kalahari Desert, to find out who is happy and who is not happy. And as a result, our feature-length uh, documentary, Happy, was completed uh, earlier this year. And to our pleasant surprise, the film's been received very well, and now it became the number one documentary and the number one independent film on iTunes in USA and Canada. Thank you. In this worldwide quest for happiness uh, with camera, examining who's happy, who's not happy, and then uh, using all those samples, there was uh, one day, one aha moment occurred to me. I couldn't help but notice a very, very simple fact about our human existence. Do you want to know? Yeah. Which is, there are no selfish, happy people on earth. I repeat, there are no selfish, happy people on earth. As cheesy and as dogmatic as it may sound, all the happy people that we met in the last six years are kinder, more giving, and more altruistic. And I wonder, back to our previous exercise, do you agree that your happiness tree are kinder and altruistic? Not only that, there are substantial amount of scientific evidence that verifies strong, strong correlation between compassion and happiness. In my own pursuit of happiness, I discovered meditation is very effective. So I went to the Himalayas for three months to meditate last year. On my way to the monastery, I saw a group of Tibetan pilgrims conducting a long prostration along the dusty and dangerous road, like this. Gazing at them from an air-conditioned you know, comfortable tourist van. I was, I remember, I remember think, um, thinking, oh, those poor, uneducated farmers, uh, so desperate in making, wishing their uh, dreams come true. They may be wishing more money, health, or a better harvest next year. When I got to the monastery, I had a conversation with uh, a monk. And he explained to me what these people are actually praying for. And what he said left me speechless. These people are wishing my happiness, as well as happiness of all living beings, including you. Another surprising fact is that according to increasing amount of scientific data, and your thought and mine on happy people, these very simple people in the Himalayas with big hearts are happier than educated cosmopolitan city boys like me who are obsessed with ego-pleasing things and ego-pleasing words. Come on, Tokyo, I know you are getting smarter, faster, and more competitive. 
But are we getting any kinder? If you spend a fraction of your time and energy to improve your kindness, you're not only making yourself a happier person, but you're making this whole country, whole universe a happier place. Don't be selfish, be kind. Oh, no, be, be happy. <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you very much.